My name is George Wright III, and I am happy to be here. I'm super excited to be here. Whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, doesn't matter, because you can always stand to get a little more inspiration, motivation, and education, and that's what morning motivation does for you. I'm really wanting to talk to you today about something a lot of you may be, in fact, most of you may be struggling with, may be thinking about, um, or maybe just trying to find some new strategies for, and that's confidence. Because look, the bottom line is most successful people most super, super successful people, and I'm talking seven, eight, nine figure mentors of mine, um, have unstoppable, unshakable confidence. And that is the key. That's the key to success, happiness, fulfillment, everything, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what it is. Because what people really struggle with is this low self esteem, low self worth, self doubt. And there's no room for self-doubt when it comes to being successful and having a happy life. I don't care if it's your relationships where you're doubting, you know, your, your own self-worth, your business. It doesn't matter. You know, the bottom line is you have to be able to overcome those negative influences in your life, like low confidence, low self-esteem. And here's the thing, self-doubt and um, lack of, of uh, you know, self-esteem, it's really overcome with increasing and building up your confidence. And building up your confidence is a key. You know, why would you want to have more confidence? I mean, besides the obvious, have more results in your life. Listen, you know, when you have more confidence, you're going to do more. You're going to be more. You're going to take more risks. Your, your, your bottom line is your life is going to live at a different level. And if you want to play all out, if you want to go at a number 10, you know, many of you are thinking, I want to be successful. I want to play out. I'm hustling. I'm grinding. But if you're doing that with low confidence and low self-esteem, that's just a recipe for disaster. You know, you're, you're going to be spinning your wheels. You're going to get frustrated. And so, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this. It's a topic that's been on a lot of people's minds lately. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about increasing and creating unstoppable confidence. Tony Robbins, Ed Milet, Andy Frizzella. I mean, we have, there's a lot of mentors of mine that talk about it. But I want to dissect it for just a minute. I know we don't have a lot of time. So, let's talk about the three core beliefs or areas that you have to work on because until you dissect your confidence and dissect what it's going to take, you can't create strategies and principles to fix it, right? So, just in a real brief couple of minutes here today, there's three areas that you need to develop more confidence in, three areas that are going to affect directly your confidence. One is your competence, your competence. Well, that means what you're good at, what you, your skill level, you know, what you're, you know, if what you're working on right now, you don't have a high degree of competence, then that's where the education and training and knowledge base come in because I can tell you right now, the more competent you are at something, the more confidence you're going to have, right? I think most of you would agree with that. The second core area you need to work on is your ability or your belief, right? These are your beliefs, your belief in your competence, your belief in your ability to identify problems and solve them, right? And, and what I mean by this is most people go throughout their life with very limiting beliefs. Um, they believe that anything outside their comfort zone will tear them down. And the bottom line is, true success lives 100% outside your comfort zone. And so, if you're going to be able to increase your confidence, you have to increase your belief that you can identify and solve problems, which means anything you don't already understand. When you can increase your belief that no matter what hits you, you can solve those problems and you can create solutions, your confidence will go up because then you're already sure that no matter what happens to you, it's gonna ha it, you're going to be able to solve it, right? The last thing is you have to increase your belief in your own self-worth right? Your own intrinsic value. Your own intrinsic value is key to you having more confidence. You have to learn to increase that. And here's, here, look, here's the bottom line. These three core beliefs, your competence, your ability to solve problems, and your own self-worth, most people look for solutions to those outside around them, right? How many of us look at, you know, how many of us look at our confidence when we have more money, when we, when we look better, when we drive a nicer car, when we get compliments, when we, when we receive all those likes on Facebook, right, or Instagram or YouTube or Snapchat or whatever it is. Um, if you're basing your belief or your confidence on outside factors, 
it's your number one. I'm here to tell you, listen to me for a second. That's your number one mistake because you cannot build your true confidence with anything external. It has to be internal. You have to build your competence through your own personal development and learning. You have to build your ability to solve problems and confidence in that, and you have to build your self-esteem internally. Once you do that, it won't matter how much money you have, what you look like, what, you're, you know, what people are telling you. Your confidence will be huge. That's why there's individuals that have confidence that's so huge. You look at them like, man, that, that guy or that girl, they should not have any confidence. They, 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 just, they look like a train wreck, but they are confident inside, right? They're confident inside. So I know we, we don't have a lot of time, so what I wanted to do for you today is give you those three beliefs, but I wanted to give you a couple of principles that I've learned, and these may or may not be ones that you've heard before. Um, in fact, most personal development is stuff you've heard before, but sometimes you need to apply it through a different lens. So I want you to apply it through this lens of these core beliefs and the understanding that everything you do is a limiting belief because all you know is what you've already done. Let me say that again. Everything you do is a limiting belief because all you know is what you've already done and yet success lies outside what you've already done. So with that in mind, there's a couple principles I'd like to just kind of share with you. One is, one principle is, it, I guess you'd call it a success formula. It's one used by T. Harvecker, Harvecker, I mean, or uh, Tony Robbins, a lot of guys out there. And that's this, it's a, it's a true success formula. And that is that your thoughts create feelings that result in actions that create the results in your life. So the way you think, your beliefs, will create feelings in you that will drive your actions, right? And that will lead to your results. So if you have strong beliefs, then you're going to have positive feelings and do a lot of action. And as a result, you're going to get more results. The bottom line is results are just a function of your actions, but your actions will not increase if your beliefs and your feelings are not there. So we talk about how do you increase your, your thoughts and your feelings uh, internally. And there's a lot of ways to do that. You can get up and move. You know, Tony Robbins uh, talks about action creates emotion, creates action, right? Um, so just get up and move. Get up and move, inundate your mind with positive thoughts, surround yourself with the right people, do daily rituals, create things that create success, even if you don't believe and have the, the faith yet in your own abilities, your own competence, your own self-worth. Surround yourself with people that will, that will help you to see the positive, right? And so remember this principle, your thoughts and your feelings lead to your actions and results. So just pouring more effort on your actions is not going to do you any good if your beliefs are not being fixed. That's why personal development is the number one thing you should be doing in your life because that works on the inside, right? The inside will create the outside. You know, the roots create the fruits. You've got to be able to work on you in order to become a better person and have more success. So understand that success formula and understand that you've got to be able to work on your limiting beliefs right here. I'm pointing to your, your, your mind if you're driving and not looking in order to create better feelings, to create better actions, in order to get results. And there are a lot of other strategies we can talk about that will help you to create better feelings and get in state, get in a state of emotional strength. But I wanted to share that success principle with you. The second thing, and, and I love how uh, Ed Milet and a few others put it, and that is a lot of times our self-confidence and our self-esteem gets worn away when we don't keep promises to ourself, right? Every day, everything you do is either building up your self-esteem or it's tearing it down, right? And I want you to know that it's, it's not just a saying, it's not just a catchphrase when we say, how you do anything is how you do everything, all right? If you say, I'm a hard worker in business, but you go home and you treat your relationships bad, if you say, I'm a hard worker and I grind around everyone else, but when you're by yourself, you're not willing to pull your book out and read or meditate or work on your goals. Because remember, internally, you're, you're the only, look, no, all this public social media stuff is not going to do you any good if internally you're not becoming a better person. So what I'm telling you is that the more you keep promises to yourself, the more your self-esteem, the more your self-worth, the more your confidence will grow. And it doesn't have to be big things. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, I told myself I would, I would lose 10 pounds. I, I told myself I'd hit this goal. I'm talking about the little things because the little things become the big things, right? If you don't get up in the morning, get up in the morning. 
Um, you know, and here's the bottom line. To, in order to keep promises to yourself, the best thing you can do is create these daily rituals we keep talking about. And I congratulate you for being on here with Morning Motivation because that's a great way to start. Keep the promises to yourself. Surround yourself with daily rituals that will help you to stay on track because we all need help. We all need assistance. We all need mentoring. We all, mean, we all need that positive influence in our life. So let's just recap real quick here. Confidence, absolutely a huge, huge, huge key ingredient in what you are going to do in your life. And in order to do that, in order to build up and overcome low self-esteem and self-doubt, you've got to increase your confidence. And the bottom line is the best way to do that is to work on those three core beliefs of your competence and your, your ability to solve problems and your own self-worth. Work on those things. You can do it by focusing on your thoughts and your feelings, doing personal development. You can do it by um, keeping more promises to yourself. But that, I believe, will really help you to increase your confidence. And then, look, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw this out, the obvious, but I want to end with this. And that is, flat out, confidence builds confidence. You can act confident even when you're not. You will get results. You'll do more action. You'll create more confidence. Confidence breeds confidence. Action creates results. You want more confidence? Get more results. Create more results. Increase your belief, though, at the same time, or you're just going to be working like crazy and not working in here and in here. All right. So anyway, that's my message for today. I hope that's helped you. I hope that's something that you feel can benefit you in your life. And I, and I believe that you have a lot of greatness in you. I believe that you can increase your confidence. I believe that people aren't born with confidence. They gain confidence. No matter where you're at, whether you're at a high or low degree of confidence, whether you have low self-esteem, low self-worth, you can absolutely change that by taking action, working on yourself, continuing to work through things on your own. This is going to help you get to the next level. So I'm George Wright III, and this has been the Daily Mastermind Podcast. Have an amazing day. I'll talk with you soon.